Hey, this is Wonder Girl, and welcome to Yard Winter Club. Is there any person uh, you met within the music industry that changed your life, and um, why? Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess Travis is the number one person that changed my life in the music industry. He basically just like took me under his wing and um, started using my beats and started like getting my beats to other people and getting me placements and stuff. So that's kind of how my career started, my music career, because of him. So, in your opinion, what what can producers um, do to gain more recognition? Um, there's many different ways to do that. Like my way was the beat battles um, in terms of gaining recognition. Um, and like networking with everybody, traveling and meeting new people and all that stuff, you know, and doing what you need to do to get your beats out there, posting it, getting blogs to post it, all that stuff, so. Scott Stosh, yeah. in an interview with The Fader, he says, if you're a real producer and you want to be a, a leader, find an artist, develop the artist, and be their partner. Um, I mean, I, I totally agree with that. Um, I feel like that doesn't completely make you a real producer, but yeah, it's a part of being a producer, you know? So you do need to find an artist and, and, and do that. That's like the best thing to do. And did you find your artist? Yeah, yeah, I have um, two artists that I've been working with, this guy named Winters and this guy named Jugger. So, yeah. <laughs> what can you tell us about them? Um, Jugger, we just released... Um, Winters doesn't have anything out yet, but Jugger, we just released uh, a whole project. I'm gonna be playing some of that stuff tonight, so yeah. <laughs> and um, Mike Will Made It, Metro Boomin, yeah. Kiss, Pierre Bourne, Murder Beats. Most of the producers that people know uh, do have a tag. Yeah. Uh, you don't. Yeah. Why? I mean, I've been thinking about have, um, putting a tag in my beats. Like, I have like a little sound that I put that I consider a tag. Um, but I feel like overall, people just know when I make the beat because they can hear it in the sound, you know, of the beat. So. And how would you describe your sound? Um, I guess just like, it's changing now, but like, it's, it could be dark and just very heavy. Um, and I don't know, I feel like you can, kind of, if, you, if you close your eyes, you can kind of see what you're hearing, sort of thing, <laughs> with my beats. And then, uh, uh, Quavo's track, Rerun, yes. uh, was the first collaboration uh, between you and French producer Casboy. When did you both link? Mm -hmm. And um, what can you tell us about him? Okay, um, me and, me and Ikaz li linked um, a couple years ago. Like, we, we came to Toronto one time and then we were working over there. And then um, the rerun track happened through, like, one time I invited him to a Travis session and he just like um, gave me a bunch of beats to work on for him and that was one of them. And yeah, like Travis and Quavo ended up loving it and going on it. So that track was like like a year old before they dropped it. So <laughs> yes, I, I remember yeah, there was a snippet. little snippet. Yes. <laughs> Are you curious about what kind of rap is made outside the United States and uh, Canada? Yeah, yeah, I, I actually tune into that stuff. Um, I think, I, especially French rap is really good, to be honest. It's kind of my favorite. Uh, what kind of French artist do you um, listen to? I mean, the, the one that I was introduced to was that Booba guy, it was actually, that's, yeah. I need to hear some more, though. <laughs> and um, what you've been listening to recently? Um, honestly, just that, that project that me and, and Jugger dropped, me and my artist dropped, so I've just been listening to that all the time. So, yeah. And what's the, the next step for you? Next Can step, yeah, yeah. Next step is obviously I'm going to be working with a lot more people, play, getting placements and um, releasing my artists and all that stuff. Um, and my own project as well too. So I'm working on that too. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Hold up, it's covered, man. I know it's...